Here's what the raw vocal sounds like in a mix with no effects on it. And now here it is with the free vocal effects chain on it. It's Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. I'm Zane. Welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creative beast by providing easy to follow audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. Now in this video, I'm looking at creating a vocal chain using free VST plugins. And I'm also going to show you how to set up your tracks so that they really stand out in a mix. This isn't just slapping an EQ compressor and reverb onto a track and then calling it a day. This is going to be bigger than that. And links to all of the plugins mentioned in this video are down in the description. Now let's get started. So here's the raw vocal track that I'm working with. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. So there's no effects on there. And you already heard what it sounds like in the mix at the top of the video. But here it is again in the mix with no effects on it. Now, obviously, I'm not a great vocalist, so I'm really going to need to spice this thing up a bit. So the first thing that I usually do is I'll put a EQ on there. And for this, I'm using the TDR Nova. And as you can see, I have the high pass filter set at 80 hertz. And it's a pretty steep roll off right there. So we're cutting off pretty much everything after 80 hertz. And this is going to get rid of any background rumble noise or anything like that. You really don't need those frequencies for your vocals as it can start to muddy up your track a bit. I also have a little bit of a dip here at 3.2 kilohertz and this is just to get rid of a little bit of harshness that was on the vocal. That's all that is. So here's what it sounds like with that on. It's Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. So not a huge difference with that on there. Now I also put on this M compressor here and this also helps to get rid of some of the background sounds. I use it kind of like a noise gate as it says there. And also during these in-between parts where I'm not singing, it will suppress any noises that might happen in there. So I could go through and chop this all up and usually I will do that, but I do like to have this compressor on there just as a noise gate to filter out any of those little subtle noises that could appear in the mix. And then also you'll notice I've used this here to expand it a bit. So this also expands the compression and just makes it sound a little nicer. And then the next thing I do is I put a send here. So I'm sending this vocal after the effects to another track, which is this Vox parallel track that I created. Then I have the return here. So this is going into here. And then I have a little bit of a compressor on there. And this is the Decam free comp from FX expansion. It's a very easy to use compressor and it sounds pretty good. So here's what that sounds like now. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. And we'll just get rid of that so you can hear what it sounds like without it. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts. So it kind of gives it a more full sound. And I've combined these two and put them into a submix track here. And you can do this in any DAW. You don't have to use waveform like I am. Uh, another DAW might call this a bus or something similar to that. But yeah, you can use this in any DAW. And then on this submix or bus, I have another instance of TDR Nova. And this one shapes the sound a little and it gets rid of some of the lower end just to remove some of the muddiness from my voice. And then this time I have the high pass set to 100 hertz. And it's a steep roll off there again. Then I have some of the higher frequencies above 7.2 kilohertz kind of lifted up at the end here. And then after that, I have the Slate Fresh Air plugin. And this brings some airiness to the vocal. It lifts those highs up even more and kind of 
helps the vocal to sit in the mix a little bit nicer. So here's what it sounds like with the fresh air on. Friday night and you're mad at me again If you were the queen of hearts to be off Friday night and you're mad at me again if you So you can hear it's taking that muddiness out of it. And then I just have this on there. This is a free de-esser plugin and that's to remove any de-essing that might happen during the vocal performance because we are lifting those higher frequencies. So it is likely that I'm going to have some instances where I need to be de-essed. And then at the end here, I have another instance of the decam free comp from FX expansion. And we can listen to all of this all together now. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. And what this final compressor does is sort of blends all of it together. So that's just the first part of this vocal chain. That's just sort of dealing with the raw vocal there. Now we need to add some effects to it. And like I said, I'm not just slapping a reverb on here and calling it a day. All right, now before I get into the actual vocal effects plugins I use, I just wanna ask if you're enjoying this video so far, can you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Now, back into the tutorial. What I've done is I've created some more tracks down here, so let's get into those now. And again, I have this send on the main vocal track that I recorded, and I have a return now on this short verb track here. So this is a short reverb. I'm using the Valhalla Super Massive Reverb. It's an amazing free reverb plugin. You can get so many different sounds out of this thing and it has so many uses. You should definitely get this plugin if you don't have it yet. So here's what it sounds like with just this short reverb. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. So that's an improvement already. Let's listen to that in the mix, just like that. That's not too bad, but I also added this long reverb track. And again, I've got the return here from that vocal and another instance of the Valhalla Supermassive reverb. And this is set for a longer reverb. So let's listen to both of those put together now. So here it is without the mix. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. And here it is in the mix. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. Which that sounds pretty good as it is right there, but I've also added a delay track to put a little bit of a delay on here. Again, it's the same vocal sent from the main lead vocal track. And that's going into the baby comeback plugin, which I really love on vocals. So I'm using the wide vocal setting in here. And then I have the time at eighth notes. Then I've got some feedback on there. The ducker on here is at 20, which isn't too much. And I've got it at 200 out. So this is pure wet signal, no dry signal in here. And here's what it sounds like all together. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. And here it is in the mix. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. So already it's sounding a lot better. And then at the very end of this, I have this saturation Vox track. And again, it's being fed from the lead vocal. And I've got it going into this BPB saturator, which is a great free saturation plugin. And I just want to show you what this sounds like on its own because it's a very subtle effect. So here's what it sounds like without all of the delay and reverb. Friday night and you're mad at me again If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah I don't know what I said, I don't know what I did But you think I should be bowing to your feet, oh yeah So you can hear it's very subtle, it just sort of thickens up the vocal a bit When it's put all together you hardly notice it But when you take it off, it's pretty noticeable that the vocal is not as thick. So let's enable everything. 
We're going to put it into the mix now and we'll hear it all together. I don't know what I did, but you think I should be bowing to your feet, oh yeah. All right, I definitely notice a difference when it's on there. It just thickens things up just enough to make a difference. And now you can see I have all of these affected tracks fed into this vocal effects submix. And on here, I have another instance of TDR Nova just to get rid of any of the boominess that might be in there. And again, some muddiness and harshness, and then raise the airy frequencies. I have another instance of fresh air on there. And then I have the TDR Molotov compression plugin to kind of smooth everything out and blend it all together. So here it is without that TDR Molotov on. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. So you can hear how the TDR Molotov really smooths it out and just blends it all together to make it sound like a decent product at the end. And again, here it is all together in the mix. Friday night and you're mad at me again. If you were the queen of hearts to be off with my head, oh yeah. I don't know what I said, I don't know what I did, but you think I should be bowing to your feet, oh yeah. And you don't have to use these exact plugins that I'm using. You can use your favorite compressors and your favorite reverbs and EQs, whatever you have. These are just the ones that I chose and I thought they sounded really good on here. And another thing is you don't need to go crazy like this with the short reverb, long reverb, delay, saturation on every single track. This could just be for a few tracks. Maybe you don't want that on every one of your songs. So play around with this idea and see what you can come up with in your studio. Now, if you wanna check out even more free VST plugins, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating and we'll talk soon.